we got all these new spaces that where we will get together and whoever gets there will never think of going through that door, that entrance door to the violent world. If a kid goes to do one of those places, never, they will never go there. So we will be narrowing that door. In Medellin, immediately we have the talent, we have the people, and immediately the, the town com starts well, flourishing. I think we should explain that what you did was take the most violent area of the whole city, Comuna 13, and you built a beautiful, huge, high-tech library, and you took the metro cable, which is the subway, the above-ground subway system of Medellin, you attached a funicular to it that was never done before, and I remember the first time I ever visited there, I was going through the most dangerous part of the city on the ski lift to go to this brand new, beautiful library that you put up at the top filled with computers, and the youth Symphony of Medellin was playing at the top of it, which was quite extraordinary. So you did take public spaces that were never given to the poor before and created them. So did that break isolation? That, that broke isolation, but it comes with a concept that usually you don't hear in the world of politics, which is dignity. We build dignity. You cannot measure, I'm a mathematician, but you cannot measure dignity because you cannot give, the, give dignity if you don't have it. In the political world, many people don't have dignity, but we knew what it meant. So what it means to be recognized when the youngest girl in the poorest sector of town in Medellin is going to go to a place that is as good as the girl coming from the most privileged city, a family in town, going to a private school, and this is a public school, and the teacher is there is teaching at the best school that you could find in the city, the message, the message is very powerful. Some people will say, tell me, how come you build those expensive buildings in that part of town? The first thing is we never stole a single peso. That works very well. Don't steal money because there are many corrupt people who have made politics their business and they have used it to enrich yeah. themselves. But then I'll tell, I will tell them, I know perfectly well that if I go to Harvard's depart mathematics department and I walk in there and I sit there, I don't become a better mathematician. But a girl who attends that school, who goes to that park library that won the best, the first prize for the most important architectural work in Ibero-America, that place in the poorest sector of town, when, when that girl goes there, she has dignity, and you translate that, and that means self-esteem. And a girl who has self-esteem will learn mathematics much faster than anyone else.